What's good? It's Fever. Today I wanted to share with you some more footage from Lost Ark. I have a ton of it recorded, but I've been a little bit lazy in sharing it. This time I'm going to be showing you some gameplay from the Destroyer class and kind of giving my thoughts on the class and digging in a little bit deeper than just a superficial look. I think I showed the Destroyer killing a boss in the last video I did on Lost Ark. Now if it's not obvious from what you may have seen or what you're seeing already, the Destroyer is a melee class that wields a giant hammer. Now during the last testing phase, I messed around with a bunch of different classes and was all but decided that I was going to be playing the Archer, the Hawkeye class. That was until I tried and hit something with a hammer. And the skill feedback, the skill's appearances, its over-the-top nature, and also its functionality won me over, and now I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna be playing a Destroyer. In fact, every time I play a new class in Lost Ark, I'm like, oh man, this is the class for me. Now, most of the classes in Lost Ark tend to have things in them that are sought by other parties. And I know you wouldn't guess, but interestingly, for the giant hammer wielding class, the Destroyer excels in control and grouping. So if you're not familiar to action RPGs, grouping just means taking a bunch of enemies and drawing them in, a lot of times overlapping on each other, just making a really tight group that allows himself or others to more easily land their skills. And when I was playing, especially in dungeons, I would run with... I believe it was three different abilities that would group up, and the rest of my abilities also seemed to have a stunning component, and so I could chain all of my abilities together to keep a large pack of enemies stunned or crowd controlled almost indefinitely if I staggered out my ability usage, which was a pretty crazy contrast to other classes that I've played. In a weird way, I almost felt like an offensive support class. And because I did play multiple character types during the testing, after tons of partying up with random players, man, I was, I was really digging having a destroyer in my party when I was playing the Hawkeye Archer who has very high damage but very narrow projectiles. So they worked out really well, the tight grouping probably doubled or tripled how effective the Archer class, the Hawkeye was, at least in the content that I was messing around in. Now, another thing that I really dug, and it's a testament to what I said earlier about the skills feedback, meaning animation, sound, how it felt to push a button and seeing or experiencing what happens next. The special ability of the Destroyer class is this gauge that you can see in the bottom center of the screen. And you build it up by weaving different ability types. And you'll see the icons are colored blue or purple. These are the two different types. And using one will build these pips and then using the other will spend those pips. And as you spend the pips, the gauge for the hammer will start filling up and it will break the chains on that graphical interface until it's fully ramped up and all the chains are broken. And then you can hit your special ability and you can wield this giant charged hammer. And the thing is, when you you are using this there are no special attacks no abilities the effect lasts for i don't know maybe 15 to 20 seconds and all you can do is click and normal attack and that normally would sound pretty bleh for a super move but it is the best 15 to 20 seconds and i credit that to how awesome it feels to use it's so incredibly powerful not just in damage but just like over the top the sound the it has like a, a stunning kind of effect it has a lot of ground effects when you're using it it's just a testament to how much animation and sound can be important into the feel of when you use something and just smashing something over and over and over again with this hammer is just like it induces glee now, one of the drawbacks you may have expected is with this giant hammer, you are stuck in animations quite a bit. It's a slow and powerful weapon, even if sometimes the skills themselves feel a little bit more agile than you would imagine. You can especially see it with the one attack that's like pound, 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 pound. And in practice, you spend a lot of time stationary because of this, locked in animations. And something I noticed from playing the Destroyer, after having played some of the fighter classes, which are much more agile, is that the game has a type of that deliberate combat where it seems like the absence of animation cancels, or rather plentiful animation cancels, as you can use your dashes to cancel out early, is on purpose, which you normally don't notice or care about when enemies are stunnable, but once you get to bosses and you can't just keep them permanently CC'd, a lot of playing a destroyer is knowing what attack you can use and still be safe, supplemented with a lot of abilities that either give you the equivalent of an unstoppable or an unstunnable frame, or giving you front-loaded shields that is kind of meant so that you're not going to avoid, you're just going to lessen the attack with these shields and you're going to attack 
as they attack. And I think for some people this will come off rather clunky, but I play a ton of Monster Hunter and I felt right at home, and the same sort of combat clunky critique is usually found in those type of games as well. And it's not the time to now, but remind me to tell you about the Monster Hunter inspired content and system that's found in Lost Ark. Oh man, it's like a, it's like a dream come true for the genre. Now, the one thing I think sucked a bit about the Destroyer is it's hard to make a lot of creative-looking giant hammer-based attacks. There are a few non-hit-the-ground really, really hard moves, and I tried to use those specifically because more so than other classes, I felt like a lot of the abilities I had access to were heavily situational, and so I basically would use the same three or four filler moves, and for a lot of the time, they all looked almost exactly the same, and everything outside of bosses and group content was mind-numbing to do, only pushing like one, two, or three buttons that looked the same. And even when you would get to the point of using your special move of wielding this really cool hammer, you would normally save it for bosses, but then a lot of times, like I'm telling you, this ability was so powerful, it could sometimes kill bosses outright, even in a group, and because of this, you would almost skip the content where you'd actually get a chance to, you know, move around and use a whole bunch of abilities, and so I'm hoping that the difficulty or the length of fights, the time to kills, and some of the higher-end content is much larger, because otherwise it's very one-dimensional, way more one-dimensional than most of the other classes I've tried. Now, I did get some PvP footage, but because so many classes in Lost Ark are very fast and agile, and this class is slow as well, I had bad ping, so it's not just me, the results were not very good. On top of my complete lack of understanding of most things in this game, I did get my butt kicked over and over and over again. When I was doing the queued for 3v3 PvP matches the game has, I would feel so bad and like such a burden to my team that I would apologize before and after. But I didn't lose all my fights, in fact we did some duels, some of the English speaking players that were on the Lost Ark Discord server, but I won some of those. And I'll just let some more of this footage play out, but that's going to do it for me and the footage of the Destroyer class from Lost Ark. We have some very big Lost Ark news coming very, very soon, so don't be surprised if you see some more Lost Ark videos on the channel just as soon. Until next time, this is Fever.